Hello booktube, I'm Vanessa and today I'm here to do a quick September TBR. First of all, I just want to say please excuse my voice in this video if it's sounding like not the greatest voice you've ever heard. Um, I'm still recovering from sickness and this is also like the fourth video I filmed today, so yeah, vocal quality is deteriorating rapidly. But I want to film this TBR, so we're just going to knock it out. So in September, I'm not doing any readathons or anything for once, so my TBR is fairly open. So I wanted to take the opportunity to knock out some books that have just been like nagging at me for the last couple months. So the first one that I would like to read is Brissinger, which is the third book in the Aragon series. I actually started rereading the Aragon series at the beginning of this year with the express purpose of rereading them so that I would be refreshed on them so that I could read the last books in the series that I never got to read when I was in high school. So I read the first two books very early this year and then immediately proceeded to, again, not finish the series. So I need to do that before the memories start slipping away into the ether of the world and Brissinger needs to get read this month. The next book that I really want to read is Tickets to Karis Vall by Natalie Cuddington. Um, if you guys don't know, Nat is from Pickles Hearts Books. She is a booktuber here and she wrote a book called Tickets to Karis Vall. I'm really excited about it. It sounds like it's going to be really good and you can actually read it for free on Swoon Reads right now and if she gets enough like ratings and reads and stuff like that, um, she could have the chance to get this book traditionally published, which would be amazing. So if you want to support a fellow booktuber, definitely check that out. I'll leave the link to it down below. I read one of her other books called Saving Mason last year and it was really good and I really liked it. So I'm looking forward to reading another book from her. <laughs> Sissa, I love you so much. If anyone remembers my New Year's resolutions, um, one of them was to read every month either a backlist or a new release. So for this month, my backlist book is going to be uh, Bersinger. And then my other goal was to read every month either a classic or a nonfiction. So I think for this month, I'm gonna go with nonfiction. And I think I'm gonna use the Book of the Courtesans for that. Um, this might change, I don't know. But just tentatively, I'm interested in reading this right now. This is a book that I picked up a few years ago at a thrift store just because it looked so interesting. Um, it's basically about courtesans throughout history. Really, look at your bald tummy. What is this bald spot? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That was very rude of me. You're right. But yeah, those are the only things that I'm planning on reading in September. Um, if I have more time, obviously I'm going to be adding more to this TBR, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I have classes in September and then I also am applying for jobs, so I might not have a lot of reading time. If I do end up having extra time, I might throw on Past Perfect Life, which is like about a girl who discovers that her identity and like her family isn't her real family. She's actually like a girl that had gone missing years ago. So I might read that or I might get into the Halloween spirit by reading House of Salt and Sorrows, which I've heard is very spooky. Um, this is a retelling of a Grimm's Brother fairy tale, so I'm very excited. Um, I actually got both of these books from Book of the Month, which I am an affiliate for, so actually if you were interested in trying out Book of the Month YA and getting awesome books like these every month, um, feel free to use my affiliate link down below. That would be awesome. But yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping I'll have enough time to get to at least one of these extra books, but I'm gonna play it safe and not commit to that and pressure myself because I want to have time to do well in school and at jobs and stuff too. So that is it for my September TBR. Um, I would love to hear what books you guys are planning on reading in September and I hope that I get to talk to you soon. Bye!